Welcome to Brewster Park for this, the Ulster Minor Football Championship Silver Final for Mana against Derry here in Brewster Park. A wet Brewster Park, unfortunately, conditions far from ideal, but thankfully the rain may have cleared overhead for a little while and hopefully throughout the game it will have stayed clear, but there's been heavy showers all afternoon and this evening, so it will be slippy underfoot. I'll run through the two teams, starting off with the visitors. Derry away down to our left-hand side, as you will see in the huddle at the moment over there to our left as we look out here from the cupboard stands. The Derry side lining out with Ellie Conway in goals. Full back line then of Megan McGill, Anna McDade and Jody Canning. Half back line is Rachel Keenan and Kate Gribben, the team captain and Annie Kilpatrick. The midfield pairing then is Kate Higgins and Kiva McCluskey. Half forward line of Cassie Loughran, Clodagh Moore and Dara McKeever. In the full forward line Orla McGill, Orla O'Kean and Kiva McNally. I will run through the Fermanagh side in a little moment but we're going to just pause for our national anthem. official as you'll see there in the centre of the park is from the county of Antrim, Fanula Murphy and she'll be soon getting this one underway. So the Fermanagh side will line out as follows in goals is Chloe Hamilton they're in their little huddle at the moment as you'll see there. Farah McCluskey, Orla Murphy and Kate Murphy make up the full back line. There is a change to number 5 number 26 coming in there which is Derbla Conlon from the side that you see on your screen. So Tara McAloon loses out to Derbla Conlon. Ashley Keenan the team captain at number 6 and Geraldine Moan from Brookborough at number 7 Cleanham Ma Martin at number 8 and Hannah Murphy partnering her at midfield. Aileen Jones, Aoife McCabe and Megan Murphy make up the half forward line and the full forward line of Aaron Tierney, Shanna Cassidy and Keelan Murphy making up the starting 15. So as we look out it's looking like Fermanagh will be defending the scoreboard end and the town end for any is it no Brewster Park here in in a skillen and Derry will be shooting into that scoreboard in. As we look out, they will be shooting from left to right. And the two midfielders going in there from Fermanagh. Cleena Murphy from Newton Butler, partnering Devonish's Hannah Murphy in the centre of the park. So Martin and Murphy in the centre of the field for Fermanagh. And for Derry, we have Kate Higgins and Kiba McCluskey. Kate Higgins, an exceptional footballer. And she will be key for Derry's performance as we do get this minor championship decider underway. And it's Fermanagh first into possession and it's Martin going forward. Low ball into the corner and there's a good ball to the way over to the far side. Toe to hand coming across the field. The Fermanagh corner forward, Aaron Tier Tierney. Tierney taking on the full back there but it's good defending from Anna McDade and the referee says there's a little pull of the jersey and the referee has awarded the first free of this evening to Ern Tierney of Fermanagh and she plays it out there to Megan Murphy Megan Murphy from Kinal he gives it back again to Tierney but Tierney's effort goes to the wrong side and goes wide of the target so do let us know wherever you're tuning in we will look at the comments underneath and we will give you a shout out there seems to be a few there already Tommy Kiernan's tuning in Mike Gallagher is also wishing Derry the very best of luck and Eddie Nash again a well-known referee up there in Derry is tuning in watching this. He'll be keeping an eye on the referee as well. Fanula Murphy from Antrim. As Ellie Conway hits this one out. But it's again for Mana. Who win possession with the corner forward Keelan Murphy. Her twin, Kate, is wearing number four. But that's good defending there from Derry. Pushing the Fermanagh girls back out. But it's Farah McCluskey. 
McGather's possession and coming through the centre now is Ashling Keenan, the team captain. Keenan going up the Derry defence and that's a good layoff. Here's an opportunity now for Aoife McCabe going through. McCabe lets it in. It's a goal chance here and it is a goal. A goal for Fermona and Keenan Murphy strikes first for the Ironsiders with the opening goal inside two minutes. A wonderful move from Fermona. Finished by Keenan Murphy giving Ellie Conway no chance in the Derry goal. Conway with the quick kick out, way over to the far side. Looking over there now for Kate Gribben, the team captain from Derry. Both these sides, sides met on Saturday afternoon in the under-16 final. Derry coming out on top of that one in listless ski. But here it's all about Brewster Park and that's a wonderful ball to pick out Annie Kilpatrick in space. Kilpatrick, but coming back out of there is Jerry Mullen, but Kilpatrick holds possession, looks for support, gets it there and Derry trying to prize the way in the full forward's going to have a go here and it looks good from here, the umpires look at each other and Orla O'Kane gets Derry's opening score a fine score it was, a wonderful ball to pick out Annie Kilpatrick in the first place to in the space and finished off there by the full forward Orla O'Kane, so Derry are off the mark but Fermanagh with that early goal from Keelan Murphy with the advantage at the moment, so the kick out coming now from Chloe Hamilton just dropping outside the 45, takes a bounce. The Derry girl waits, but you can only palm it down there to the waiting. Ashling Keenan. Keenan, good ball again to Megan Murphy. Murphy in a little bit of space coming forward. Beat down in the semi final, of course, for Mana. That was an away fixture for them, but this one's a home one. But that one's going straight through to the goalkeeper there, Conway. Clearing her lines, but it's blocked down. But Conway, and the referee says that it's a free in. Now judging the goalkeeper to have fouled the Fermana girl. So it's going to be a free in here, two for Mana, and it looks like it's going to be the goal scorer, Keelan Murphy from Canale, that has a chance to extend the lead back out to her goal between the sides. Three and a half minutes, just over it, as you will see in your clock. As Murphy comes forward, it makes no mistake from there. So Keelan Murphy with the free has now won one to her name. And it opens up that three-point advantage again. 1-1 one, one to, no, to a point. So Conway again from Maharafel with the kick out. Dropping short. And it's picked up by our club mate there, Annie Kilpatrick. Kilpatrick wins a free, looks ahead of herself. But it's a poor distribution there. Goes straight there to Farah McCluskey. McCluskey lays it off now to Aoife McCabe. McCabe from Ardrum C. McCabe coming forward, referee playing the advantage, that's a good ball into the corner though, looking for Shanna Cassidy, Cassidy's going after this one, Cassidy picks it up and cutting in along the end line, this Cassidy, she's got it. Murphy inside if she spots her, but she might go herself here, Cassidy, is that a foot block, referee says no, or does she, yes she does, it's a penalty to Fermanagh, and Fermanagh have started much the brighter here, and the Cassidy cutting in along the end line, she had Keelan Murphy inside but she didn't use her but she has got a penalty and it's an opportunity here now for Aaron Tierney from the local club here in Enniskill Gales with the chance so she should know this pitch pretty well so Tierney against Conway Tierney comes forward, goal for Tierney goal for Fermanagh they have two goals and a point inside five minutes So Aaron Tierney with the goal from the penalty extends the lead out. Derry not settling into it yet. Kate Higgins put under pressure there. And the referee's whistle sounds, awarding the Maher Felt Gear a free. So Kate just between her own 45 and 65, closer to the 45. And she's put back by the referee. Plays it across the field, looking for the run there of Dara McKeever. McKeever. Lays it off and plays a 1-2 there. And it's McKeever again coming inside now towards the centre-half forward, Claude Moore. The Belian girl busts through. Moore still going. Couldn't take it first time, but it breaks nicely here. Is a chance? Is that a foot block? No. Yes, the referee says it is a foot block, but this time it's outside the penalty area, so it's just going to be a free. So a free in to Derry. Another good move. And a chance here for Orla O'Kane, who has already... A point to her name. Make that two from the free. (laughs) 
reduces the deficit ever so slightly. 2-1 to two points. Six and a half minutes on the clock. The kick out. Almost taken there from the Derry Girl, but it breaks now to Orla McGill, the senior county star. McGill taking on the Fermanagh defence. The angle's getting tighter. It looks to be across the front of the goal, but it hasn't gone out yet. Racing after it is Kate Murphy. Murphy gathers possession. Plays it up along the line. Picking out there Aoife McCabe. McCabe taking on the Derry defence and still going. The referee judges a little nudge on the back by the looks of the instructions of the referee of why the free was given. So Geraldine Moon from up the road in Brookborough to take this free. Plays it infield to pick out Megan Murphy, but Murphy couldn't take it first time. Fancy pick up there from Clodagh Moore. Moore offloads it. Little tug of the jersey. Referee well behind the play there, though. Didn't spot it. And plays at the advantage. And Fermanagh have got away with that one. And now it's picked up by Ashleen Keenan. Keenan plays it long again to the lively Aoife McCabe. McCabe. Taking on the Derry defence. Look to get the arm pulled. But the referee's saying play on again. Picked up again now by Ashlyn Keenan. The centre half back and the team captain. Keenan inside but that's well read there. And it's going to be picked up by Kate Gribben. The Bally McGuigan star and the team captain. The two number sixes the team captains of the respective sides. As Derry come forward with the full back over there. Anna McDade. McDade and that's a good ball in here. Here's an opportunity now for Dara McKeever. McKeever coming through the centre. Steadies herself, was pulled back, referee says no. Seemed to have the arm pulled back, gets it back out here, but that effort is a weak one coming in from Clodomir. Easy for the goalkeeper there, Chloe Hamilton, to pick it up, but he clears her lines only out as far as Kiva McCluskey. McCluskey inside, and here might be a goal chance, the ball in here, but the goalkeeper done well. Chloe Hamilton read it well. And Fermanagh clear their lines. There was a danger there for the home side, but... The goalkeeper read that one well and got a very important hand to it. And Fermanagh worked their way out. Win a free down in front of us here through Avian Jones. Jones plays it into the centre. And Fermanagh in possession again. Midfielder there. Martin just slips. Gives a chance for Kate Higgins to get the challenge in. But the ball in there and who's quickest to react is Keelan Murphy again. Murphy, or the mid front forward, apologies. Shanna Cassidy. Cassidy going through. Cassidy with the effort. But it goes to the wrong side and out and wide of the target it's a missed opportunity for Cassidy there going through the centre part of the Fermanagh senior panel also so the effort just going out to the wrong side and wide of the target so it remains two goals and a point to two points as you will see in your scoreboard down there on your left hand side the two bodies go to ground picked up there though by the Derry gear. The wing half forward away back there. That's Cassie Lochran. Lochran coming out of it but drops the ball but it's time to pick it up again but put under pressure. Fouls is the referee. So Cassie Lochran leaves it for her team captain, Kate Gribben. Gribben looking for a bit of movement up front. There's none at the moment. Plays it over here looking for Annie Kilpatrick. Kilpatrick holds off the challenge there and plays it back to Gribben who come for the return and Gribben goes away from the challenge referee playing the advantage Gribben still going Gribben might have a go herself here coming in she gets away from the challenge again but the referee says there was a nudge on the back again there from Farrell McCluskey who is back battling back so it's going to be a free in to the Oak Leafers and a chance for Orlo O'Kane the Craig Bangair has got two points already to her name will this be our third and our county's third one from play, one from a free so far. And she calls this one to this near post and out and wide. A missed opportunity there. Linda Murray also tuning in watching. Sean O'Kane also. And so too is Patricia Keeley. Wishing the best of luck to the girls in this big occasion for them. The All-Star Final. Good kick out from the goalkeeper, picked up there by Kleena Martin. Kleena goes between two Derry girls, breaks away from the challenge, and Martin with a bit of space plays it up along the wing. It's a wonderful ball looking there for the run of Shanna Cassidy. Cassidy bends her back, gathers possession, takes on the Derry defence now and breaks away from them. Cassidy coming in field, but she's blocked off there, but it gets it back out, and there's a chance here for Aaron Tierney. Tierney with the effort, Tierney with the point. A goal from the penalty spot. 
Now a point from play to open up a 2-2. Two -two. It's a two-point advantage for the home side. With 11 and a half minutes gone, Fermanagh been the better side so far. And I've got those all-important goals. The kick out from Conway, but the referee just telling the two players to come outside the exclusion D when the goalkeeper was kicking the ball out. So the ball goes back in again to the Derry custodian. And the Mahara Falkir hits it out again, looking for her club mate, Kilpatrick. Ball broken down, though, and it's picked up by Keelan Murphy. And Fermanagh, the quickest to the loose ball, and they're coming forward yet again here. And it's that girl again, Aoife McCabe. Strong run through the centre as McCabe. Will she pull back? Referee says no. Gets it back out to Tierney though. Tierney with the effort. It's dropping in and it's dropping over the bar. Another wonderful score from Aaron Tierney. And the Innes Gillen gear on her home patch. Showing what a fine footballer she is. As she extends out the Aaron Siders lead. Wonderful point from Tierney. But again, Aoife McCabe. The Ardrum C, St. McCartan's gear, very much involved in the early stages of this one. Ball broken down, and there she is again, McCabe. McCabe going through the centre again. She might go herself this time, but she plays it inside to Tierney. Tierney's in behind the defence. Well, that's good defending from Derry. They've got the bodies back there, but the referee says it's a free in. Tierney goes down under the challenge. Derry girls weren't in full agreement with the referee. But she does have the final say, and it's a chance again for Aaron Tierney to extend the lead out and bring her own personal tally to 1-3 in the early stages of this one and she makes no mistake and it's three in a row for Tierney and suddenly Fermanagh putting daylight between the sides 2-4 to two points coming up on the first word of break in about two minutes or so The referee just holding up here. I think it's from Anna Gert. Megan Murphy may need treatment. No, she's okay to continue. So Ellie Conway giving the go-ahead to kick this one out. Dropping through the centre. Ball broken down again. Kate Higgins couldn't take it, but who? Avon Jones was in there. Another part of the Fermanagh Senior County Panel. And Fanula Murphy, the match official from Antrim, just having a word there with Kate Higgins. And just to give the linesmen also a little shout out Connor McAleer and Conan Conal McGinn from Tyrone is the two lines people and our fourth official from Armagh is Philip Conway this of course the silver final in the minor championship we have a platinum final a gold final and a silver final Derry were placed in a very tough group along with Donegal and Tyrone just lost out by three points to Donegal away and they took Tyrone to extra time up in Celtic Park so although they were beaten in both games they can take a lot of positives against two of the top counties at underage level but they haven't taken their form to Brewster Park at the moment and coming forward again is Fermanagh coming through the centre is Keelan Murphy and Murphy adds to her early goal and her early point to extend the lead out further. And this water break is coming at the right time, you would feel, for the Derry girls because they're really struggling at the moment. Fermanagh very much on top. At the water break, 2 5 to 2 points. And the Fermanagh management will be very, very happy. Christopher Moore. Along with his mentors, Eunan McCann, Shane McCaffrey and Anya Warnock will be very happy with how things is going so far for them. As you will see on the scoreboard, 2-5 to 2 points. And deservedly so too. They've been the better side. Lively up front, Aaron Tierney with a goal and three points to her name. Aoife McCabe, her lively running through the centre from centre half forward very much involved along with Keelan Murphy who has got 1-2 to her name 
just the two scorers, but they're lively. And Derry, Paul Simpson, the team manager, Declan McNally, Damien Nugent, Andy Barr, and Barry McKenna. One of them, sure, trying to work out how they can turn this one around. Water breaks sometimes do help them, the team that is struggling. You do see a change in fortune, so that's what Derry will be hoping for, but for Mana will be hoping that they can continue on and keep up their form. So play will resume with the kick out to the Derry goalkeeper. Just blowing for Derry to resume and re take up the positions which they are doing. As you will see, running out way down to the left hand corner. And they're looking to try and turn this one around in the second quarter. So the play will resume with the kick out from Ellie Conway. The Mahara felt girl beaten twice. Keelan Murphy inside two minutes and then Aaron Tierney from the penalty spot so Conway with the kick out ball broken down again it's for Mana to pick up that loose ball though and it's Keelan Murphy driving through the centre here and Murphy with the effort but just to the near post but the referee maybe playing the advantage yes she is she's going back for the free that's the effort going out to the wrong side and wide a judge Jody Canning of filing Murphy as she made her way forward there so a chance for Murphy is she going to place it on the ground? no nope. I thought she was there for a second just fixing or just putting the, the gum shield into the sock before she takes this free and she's pulled that one way over to the far side it's not gone yet is it? the umpire looking at it it's still in play though and it's back out here to Cassidy but Cassidy's ball been won back by Derry and through Dara McKeever the steals town gear but she's put under a lot of pressure needs to get help gets it from the full back there Anna McDade McDade gives it back in and now Derry have got a bit of space Kate Higgins now with a little bit of room to run into but a good hand in there from the Fermanagh gear gets it back but Derry hold possession Kilpatrick inside now again to McKeever McKeever referee playing the advantage no advantage of course so she's going back for the free just outside the 45 metre line to Derry for the foul on Dara McKeever. The Steelstown girl. That's going to be Kate Higgins. That's going to take this free just outside the 45 metre line. Derry need scores and they need them quick to get back into this contest. She's dropping it in around the danger area. Ball broken down. And again, it's picked up. She had time to pick it up. Looks for support. Tried to play it in there, but good tackling from the, the Manny girls, but she's trying to get her way through. And the referee says that she's been fouled. So Claude Moore wins a free for Derry and a chance here now for Orla O'Kane. Missed a free a little bit earlier on. She has got one from a free. So 50% rate at the moment. One from two. Make that two from three. And a much needed score for Derry hadn't scored now since the 7th minute we are in the 20th as you will see but we have to take the water break out of that as well reduces the deficit ever so slightly but Derry will be looking to reduce it much more before the break Fermanagh will be looking to extend it kick out here from Chloe Hamilton oh well caught there by Orla McGill McGill trying to go on the Derry defence and he pulled out of a hand referee says yes it was and Derry need to get Orla McGill more into the game. She's going to take this free herself. Is she? No, she's leaving it off. It's going to be to Orla O'Kean. The two Orlas. One from Craig Bannon. And Orla McGill. It's Orla O'Kean. The Craig Bannon girl. With the opportunity. But she's 
Going to drop short this one. They're still in play and the hands go up there and the goalkeeper goes for it but it's turned into the back of the net and I think it's Kate Higgins that had the final touch. The towering midfielder was in there and it was out of the reach of the goalkeeper Chloe Hamilton. It came from nothing but it's a goal that Derry very badly needed. It was a dangerous dropping free in from Orla O'Kane and it looked like it was Kate Higgins that got a hand to it right into the corner out of the reach of Chloe Hamilton she couldn't have placed it any better so what is the response from Fermanagh Derry we said look like they needed a score that was a charge into the back of the Derry girls so that's going to be a free over there Rachel Keenan missed the under 16 final still an under 16 but unfortunately for her she was unable to play on Saturday so thankfully she is out here playing in an Ulster final this evening here for the Miners and that free is taken quickly. Derry just buoyed on now by that goal. Right back in this contest, but good tackling over there from Farah McCluskey. Very close to the sideline, out over the sideline. And it's going to be a sideline ball to the home side. Good defending from Fermanagh, forcing the error from Derry. Into the centre, ball broken down. And those breaking balls were being picked up earlier by Fermanagh, but now it's Derry. Bite on by that goal and bite on from whatever was said to them at the water break. Are coming right back into this contest again. We said about sides that have struggled before the water break. Sometimes it can turn games right around. And it's doing that at the moment here because Derry look a different side. That's a good ball into space here. Tried the fancy pick up there, the full forward O'Kane. Maybe not the best of nights for it, but she does gather possession. Plays a wonderful ball in there. Now is an opportunity here for Dara McKeever. McKeever there. Has been pushed back out, plays it inside to O'Kane, inside further now to Annie Kilpatrick. Kilpatrick though has been bottled up, and the referee says fouled. The Fermanagh support aren't happy with it. They felt that she had overcarried, but the referee, much closer to the play, has said that it's going to be a free in. And a chance for Orlo O'Kane to reduce the deficit even more. O'Kane with the effort, O'Kane with the point. So that's four for O'Kane. And suddenly, one two without reply since the water break for the Derry girls. McCluskey, Farah McCluskey, the corner back. Good little dinky pass to pick out. Cleona Murphy, Cleona coming forward. Cleaner Murphy, it's a strong run here from Martin. Sorry, I was calling him Murphy. Martin lays it off now to McCabe. McCabe, jinky little run from McCabe. It opens up for McCabe. Burying in the goal and she's been pulled back. Referee says play on. Gets it off. And from Anna, being pushed back out again. It's now with Aaron Tierney. Tierney for the back out. Back in again to McCabe. McCabe's going to have a go here, but she didn't get the elevation or the, the power behind that one. And it breaks in nicely for Ellie Conway. He uses Kate Higgins beside her. Higgins, the goal scorer for Derry. Goes past one challenge into another. Needs to get support. Gets it over on the far side there from the full back. Anna McDade. McDade up along the line, but it's out over the far sideline. So 2-5 to 1-4. An important hand there from the Derry girl. It's a race for possession now. And it's won by the Derry girl. Who just gets the ball away in time. And now it's with McGill. Orla McGill taking on the Fermanagh defence. Trying tracking back his journey mode. McGill plays it in now to O'Kane. O'Kane back to McGill again. But McGill has been dispossessed. Good challenge in there from the full back Orla Murphy. The inner skill and gear. Dangerous play though from Fermanagh across their own box. And they've given possession away. And here's a chance now for O'Kane. O'Kane further out. But O'Kane again. Played the one two. Got the point. Fermanagh had done well to win the session back but then played the dangerous game, playing it across their own area. And the tackle came in from the Derry forwards to win possession back. And it was punished by Orlo Kane's fifth point of the evening. Suddenly it's only a goal between the sides. 1-3 without reply since the water break for Derry. But Fermanagh win possession in the centre of the field. Plays it in now to Aoife McCabe. Takes it on the run, McCabe. Tracking back after it. There was Rachel Keenan. Keenan with a challenge in there. And it's been pulled to the ground, is she? Referee says, yes, it is. Well, she hasn't signalled as to who she's given. She is giving the free to Rachel Keenan. Great defending, it must be said, from the Bally McGuigan girl. Tracking right back there at Aoife McCabe to win possession and win the free out for Derry. 
Two five to one five in favour of Fermanagh, as you will see. Ball over on the far side. The referee's whistle sounds again. Just having a talk here to Dara McKeever. Fermanagh coming through the centre of Martin's effort, but this goes to the wrong side. Out and wide of the target. And a chance. Goes to begging. For the home side, who need a score just to settle themselves back down again. They've been hit with 1 3 since the water break without reply. They led by 2 5 to 2 points at the water break. But now, as you will see in the scoreboard, 2 5 to 1 5 if you're only joining us. Ball out around the centre, broken down. Fermanagh pick up the loose ball, though. And it's the wing half forward here, Aiming Jones. Jones back out here. Not the best of balls, but it was picked up by Geraldine Moan. Plays it inside to the one change at the starting side, Derek Conlon. Coming into the starting team. Now it's with the other midfield. That's a wonderful block down though. Orla McGill helping out in defence there. And Derry turned this one over. Annie Kilpatrick coming out of it now. Tries to break away from the challenge. Referee plays the advantage. Going forward. She fouled again right in front of the referee. So the advantage didn't work out. And she was fouled. A couple of yards further forward. Just right in the centre of the park as we look out here. From the covered stand. Nice crowd in here supporting both sides so Kate Higgins will take this free for Derry Higgins looks ahead of herself playing it a high lobbing ball in there not the best of ones for the forward suits the defender and it's suited on this occasion the defender coming out of it as the centre half back there Ashley Keenan the team captain plays it further up the field it's a race for possession between Keenan the other Keenan, Rachel Keenan, against Aoife McCabe. And Rachel Keenan is doing a good job on Aoife McCabe. The switch on that Derry side seems to have worked. There's a couple of balls now. Rachel Keenan has dispossessed Aoife McCabe, who has been very dangerous. But now it's with Derry coming forward. Trying to work their way into position here. And a chance maybe for Orla O'Kane. O'Kane on to the left foot. O'Kane's effort, though, goes to the wrong side and wide. Chance there for Orlo Kane but just out to the wrong side of the post but another good move from Derry to open up the Fermanagh defence who are just struggling at the moment they dominated the opening quarter but since the water break it's been really all of Derry to get themselves right back into this contest good kick out from the goalkeeper but the ball is only broken down there into the waiting arms of the, the Derry girl which is Cassie Lochran Lochran inside and Derry trying to pry their opening, Orlo Kane. But a good challenge coming in there. It's a battle for possession. And the referee's going to hop it up here. He's going to throw it up. Kiva McNally was in there. And so too was Megan Murphy for Fermanagh. So she's going to throw it up between Orla Murphy and Kate Higgins. And Higgins knocks the ball down. And the referee's whistle sounds that Higgins was fouled. And Higgins just throws the ball there to Orlo Kent. The free taker just outside the exclusion deep. Right in front of the post. This to put two points between the sides. She has five points to her name already. As O'Kean comes forward, gets a good connection, but unfortunately for her, the accuracy just lets her down as it goes out to the wrong side and wide of the target. And a chance. Goes a begging for the Derry girls as we go in to whatever additional time the referee is going to add on at the end of this opening half. Ball broken down and again it's Derry that pick up that loose ball. It was Fermanagh in the early stages as Kate Higgins, the referee playing the advantage. Higgins still going though. The referee could have went back for the free because she was going away from goal. Orla McGill, dangerous ball in to the centre, and that's a good ball in too, and it's a chance maybe for Derry to get a goal. It is a goal for Derry! A wonderful ball from Orla McGill, and Derry have got a goal. And it looks like it's the centre half forward there, Claude Moore that was coming in. The goalkeeper is down at the moment. But Derry are level, right on the stroke of half time. And Claude Moore 
but it was the ball from Moore, let me go, that spotted Moore in the centre, but she had still a lot of work to do. So the kick out, coming, with the sides locked, at 2-5 apiece. Good kick out from the goalkeeper, short one this time, to pick out Hannah Murphy, Murphy put under pressure though, plays it forward, and Derry try to win it back, but Fermanagh do enough to hold possession. Is there a score in Fermanagh before the interval? Can they get their noses back in front? They've been stunned since the water break. As Derry have hit them with 2-3 since the water break. And they'll club wonderful ball in behind the defence here. Might be a chance of a goal at the other end. Aaron Tierney, 1-3 to her name already. Gathers possession, but it's going away from goal. Needs to get support. Gets it there from Geraldine Moan, Moan into the centre. There's a bit of space here now for Cassidy, the full forward, but Cassidy delays on it and it gives a chance for the Derry defence to get back into it. Aaron Tier Tierney again. Tierney holds off the challenge there. Needs to get support. At the moment, there's none coming. She's kind of going around in circles. Plays it out to the far side. Holding possession though for Mana. Megan Murphy. Back now to the midfielder, Hannah Murphy. Murphy's effort dropping in. It's a dangerous one. Two of them go for it, but it's well read there by Kate Higgins. Higgins comes out with it for Derry, right in front of her goalkeeper, coming charging out for Derry, goes to ground, wins a free, wonderful defending from the midfielder, right back in defence, sensing the danger, gathering possession and driving out and winning a free just inside her own 45 metre line, and it's no wonder she's taken a little breather after that, the referee takes a look at the watch as you'll see, she has three minutes played already, they may not be much longer, at the sides locked at 2-5 apiece, an entertaining encounter. But Derry have given possession away, but they've won it back again through the, their second goal scorer, Clodum, or Annie Kilpatrick, apologies. It's not Moore, it's Kilpatrick. Kilpatrick with the free, very close to the sideline. All of McGill couldn't keep it in play. Carmanna have it back again. Derby Conlon with the sideline ball into the centre, but the referee says that's enough of a very entertaining opening half, dominated by Fermanagh in the opening quarter, but we've mentioned it before about water breaks, how quick and how much a water break can turn a game, it turned this one, it was 2-5 two to 2 points when the girls went for their little drink of water, but whatever was in the dairy water, they come out and have come right back into it, hitting 2 Three without reply to level it up at the break. Two five apiece. Don't go anywhere. We're in for an entertaining second half, as you'll see in the scoreboard. Fermanagh two five, Derry two five at half time.
Welcome back for the second half. What an opening half of football we had, as you'll see on the scoreboard. If you missed it, where have you been? 2-5 to Derry, 2-5 to Fermanagh. It was 2-5 to two points in favour of the home side at the first water break. But Derry have come storming back. And what a contest we have in store. What a second half we have in store. Fermanagh are back on the field. Well, they haven't left it, but they're going back into the position. So look way down to my left. I think Derry are still there in their little huddle, way down to the left-hand side. So Derry... As you will see, down there, still having a stern word from their team manager, Paul Simpson. He'd be happy with how the second quarter went. Not the first quarter, but he'd be hoping for much of the same. A lot of you are tuned in. Hopefully you're enjoying it as much as we are here in Brewster Park. Unfortunately, some of you can't be here. Sean O'Kane, he's tuned in all the way from Peterborough over there in Cambridgeshire in England. So hopefully you're enjoying it. John, yes, what a comeback it was from Derry to get back into this contest indeed. Right, rushing in Higgy has also joined in Martina McCafferty never misses too many dairy matches does Martina tuning in watching to see how her county minors get on Yvonne O'Doherty also tuning in as well Q McAllister Kira Lagan Roisin McGuckin Linda Murray always tunes in as well Pamela O'Kane Karen O'Kane wishing Orla O'Kane who has hit five points in that opening half all the very best Sarah Hearn and Anya McAllister two of the under 16 stars from Saturday's winning Ulster game are also tuned in watching how the minors get on here in Brewster Park in this one and Nuna Brown county senior star she'll be involved on Sunday against Carlow a big game for the senior Derry girls in that one. Victory of that game would see them qualify for the semi-finals of the All-Ireland Junior Championship. So Nuna, hopefully you're enjoying this and taking maybe some inspiration from this minor side as the ball for the second half is through up on us. Derry, who are first into the action with the midfielder. Kiva McCluskey. McCluskey, though, drops the ball. Needs to get support. Gets it from the goal scorer, the second goal scorer, which is Claude Moore. Moore taking on the defence plays it inside and Derry have maybe created a chance here for Moore Moore with the outside of the boot it might be a chance for a goal here a wonderful save from the goalkeeper tipped over the bar what a save from the goalkeeper it must be said from Chloe Moore Hamilton looked certain that Derry were in for a goal but it's tipped over the bar and what a moment in the game that could be but Derry hit the front for the first time in the game with that point at the start of the second half and Derry have won it back again through Kate Higgins plays it inside and here's an opportunity now for Kiva McNally McNally taking on the from Anna defence McNally still going seems to have taken a lot of steps has she but the referee has blew the whistle and now it looks like it's going to be a free in and it could well be a penalty no it's a free just outside the box I thought maybe she had taken a lot of steps but maybe the referee was playing the advantage but it still doesn't mean that she can take too many steps though but here's a chance for Orla McGill, who will also be involved along with Nuala Brown, who has tuned in on Sunday for the senior side. And that's Orla's first point of the day, but was very much involved in the goal for Clodomir with a wonderful ball across for Moore. And Derry bowed on again, continuing where they left off just before the break. And McNally put under pressure though gathers possession plays it back out here now to Moore Moore with a wonderful dinky pass over to the far side here for Orla McGill McGill with a chance straight at the goalkeeper and what really a wonderful save goalkeeper has been called into action at the start of this second half with three wonderful saves following up there was Claude Moore but the goalkeeper was again quick to react Chloe Hamilton is keeping for mana in this contest with three wonderful saves at the start of the second half. But here come Derry again, laying siege on the Fermanagh goal at the moment. Annie Kilpatrick slips to the ground. And the referee signals a free in to Kilpatrick. Looked like she had slipped and gathered possession. Could well have been a free out, but the referee, Fanula Murphy, has awarded the free in and a chance here for Orla McGill to extend out the Derry lead to three points. Hard to believe the trail by 2-5 to two points at one stage. McGill with the point and they do extend out the lead further. McGill, two in a row for McGill, both from freeze. Three points between the sides. As Fermanagh make a change. And coming off is the midfielder, Hannah Murphy. 
has been replaced in the Fermanagh side. We'll just wait to see who has come on to the team. 22. And I look down my list to see who 22 is. And that is Kathleen Granger from Urbanstown. Is in to the Fermanagh side. The kick out. Kiva McNally wins a free in for Derry. Plays a wonderful ball across. Here's a chance for Orla McGill in with goal chance. Goal for Orla McGill, who has started this second half in wonderful fashion for Derry. And they have really taken control now. Three goals and eight points to 2-5. They did trail by 2-5 to two points at one stage. So they've hit 3-6 without reply since the first water break. And Derry suddenly find themselves six points clear at this early stages of the second half. Fermanagh on the back foot, struggling to get the ball out of their own half. Ball broken down. They've won possession though of the Ironsiders. They've won a free as well. Referee playing the advantage though as they come forward with the substitute now. Granger. Granger offloads it here. And now there's a bit of space here for the midfielder. Martin driving through. Martin skips past one challenge. Plays it back again to Granger. Granger outside for her. And here might be an opportunity here for Avian Jones. Here's a goal chance for Fermana. The challenge comes in with the referee's whistle sounds a lower penalty. Penalty to Fermanagh, their second in the game. And already Aaron Tierney, who slotted home the first one, has got the ball in the hand, ready to go and ready to take the second one. She scored with the first one. Can she score yet again? Aaron Tierney against Ellie Conway. At the scoreboard end of Brewster Park. She scored a penalty at the other end in the first half. They haven't scored since just before the water break. When they led by 2-5 to 2 points. Tierney against Conway. Tierney with the goal. Her second in the game. And Tierney's second penalty. The ball out there in the centre is won by Fermanagh again. With the full back up there, Orla Murphy plays it back to Granger, the substitute. And Fermanagh now with the tails up. The midfielder again, Martin, trying to get away through, but Derry have got the bodies back there, pushing them back out. There's a little bit of space over on the far side, waiting for the, the players to come forward. Martin trying to get a bit of space to get the effort away spotted Granger out here on the substitute using her pace using her accuracy and pops it over the bar <laughs> two points between the sides Jennifer O'Kane Freya O'Kane from the Derry under 15s is watching in Gary O'Kane wishing her, his goddaughter Jody Canning the very best Linda Murray again commenting on that goal from Orla McGill for Derry. Well won in the centre of the park by Kate Higgins. Lisa Corrigan's tuned in. Hopefully you're enjoying it. These, both these teams has given it their all. That's wonderful defending from the Fermanagh girl. Two points between the sides. Fermanagh were backs to the wall at the start of the second half, but they've came back out now. And in possession is Aoife McCabe, but the referee says that she wins the free, takes it quickly but the referee says too quickly and Fermanagh support isn't happy coverage brought to you again with thanks to SVS Productions live from Bristol Park this Ulster Minor Football Championship decider Kirsty on camera Terence and Ryan and Natalie also on production Natalie of course was involved with the Derry under 16s on Saturday winning the Ulster title it's a possession is won by Martin. She's carrying the fight for Fermana. It's the new time Butler girl. She has a back out to Aaron Tierney. Tierney gets the effort away, but it's going to drop into the waiting arms of Keelan Murphy. Murphy plays it in wonderful defending now from the full back. Anna McDade read it well. But the distribution goes straight to the Fermana girl, Granger. Granger inside, chance here for Cassidy, the full forward, Cassidy's effort goes to the wrong side, and wide, it remains a two point game, Claire Duffy says come on for Mana, Roisin McGuckin gets in there, well come on Derry, supporters for both counties.
And they deserve every bit of your support, wherever you're tuned to us throughout the world. If you're not lucky enough to be here in Brewster Park, but thankfully, and thanks to SBS Productions and Derry LGFA, they're bringing you this game live to your sitting rooms or wherever you're tuned in. Let's Derry make a change. Kira Scullion from Desert Martin is in, and the player going off is Dara McKeever, the Steel Stanger. Derry introducing fresh legs, just like Fermanna did with Granger coming in, and she has made an immediate impact. Ellie Conway's kick out, drops through the hands of the Fermanna get, but she might react to the quickest. And the hands go in, is that a free? The referee says yes it is. The Derry hands were down. And I can't argue with that one, I don't think Fermanna. Kira Scullion's hands were going down on the ball when the, the boot came in from the Fermanna get, but have Derry give possession away? No, nope. it's one over there on the far side through the midfielder, Kiva McCluskey. McCluskey coming, driving forward now for, for Derry. McCluskey still going, fisted inside. It could be too much there on it for Orla McGill. Orla McGill using soccer skills over the shoulder from McGill. That'd be a wonderful point. It's a super point from Orla McGill. Super score from McGill. Over the shoulder, tight angle. Splits the post, puts three between the sides. Paulo Kane says go, Kira. Janet Maguire is cheering on for Mana as well. Sharon Harris is cheering on. Derry. Roshin McBarren cheering on. The Fermana girls. Claire Flanagan's also tuned in. Lisa Corrigan cheering on. The green and white of Fermana as well. Trailing by three points at, mo at the moment is the home side. But they're coming forward with Eva McCabe. Gathers possession to McCabe. Speed to Bourne. It's the yard room, see St. McCartan's girl. She's still going. Offloads it to Cassidy. Cassidy with the effort. Cassidy has put it wide. There was goal on for the full forward. But the Belnalek girl puts it to the wrong side of the post and wide. 3-8, three 3-9 three to 3-6 it remains. Referee halting play again as for man to make another change. Derek LaDuffy from Derek Olney is coming in. <laughs> Player going off. It's Geraldine Moon from Brookborough. Fermanagh introducing more fresh legs. Short kick out from the goalkeeper. Is it too short? No, just goes through the hands there of the Derry Gear. But she's got away of it. I'm not sure if it had the required distance. But it's picked up now by Annie Kilpatrick. Kilpatrick though trying to hold off the challenge of the Fermanagh Gear and wins a free. Again, Fermanagh support. Not impressed and not in full agreement. But then, I think we've been all in that position when it's been against your team. You don't always agree with every decision. Kate Higgins coming forward. Referees going back for the earlier free. Just a stern warning again here to Megan Murphy. So Kate Higgins with the free. Her side lead by three as the rain comes down in Brewster Park. That's why it's getting a little bit darker here. And the loose ball is picked up again by the midfielder. Kiva McCluskey, McCluskey, wonderful ball into the corner, looking for the run there of the full forward, Orla O'Kane, O'Kane, bends her back, gathers possession, tackled there by Farah McCluskey, little dinky pass inside, and a good pass through to the midfielder, McCluskey, McCluskey's fouled. I think it was the full corner forward actually, Kiva McNally, apologies, was the one that won the free. The full forward O'Kane takes the free back out here to the wing half back now. Cassie Lockran inside the wing half back is up there. And Derry trying to prize the opening. And the ball out here might be an opportunity here for Clodagh Moore. But she's gave possession away, but the Fermanagh girl couldn't take it. And the loose ball is picked up here now by Annie Kilpatrick. Kilpatrick takes a point, but again Fermanagh giving the possession away when they had won it back. They've given it away cheaply and given the score away as well. That puts four between the sides as the rain buckets down here in Brewster Park. Derry making another change. Coming off is Kiva McCluskey, the midfielder. And introduced into the side is the number 20, Anya Young from Maharathalt. So Anya Young replaces Kiva McCluskey and the Derry side. That change taking place now with almost 13 minutes gone in the second half. Derry 3-9, Fermanagh 3-6. If you haven't been with us for the full game at the first water break, Fermanagh led by 2-5 to 2 points. 
but they will level at half time at 2-5 apiece as the ball is broken down it's picked up again by McNally McNally inside here to the substitute with the opportunity but Hallway blocked plays it inside but good defending again McNally battles for possession though but the Fermanagh girl Kate Murphy wins it back for Fermanagh as the rain really pelts down on the girls in Brewster Park but they're not letting it affect them as the slipping conditions will get slippier underfoot the ball will be like a bar of soap there's a battle for possession the referee's going to throw it up unfortunate there it must be said for the midfielder Cleena Martin her foot and went from underneath her so the referee going to throw this one up waiting for a Fermanagh girl to go in there Deborah Duffy obliges and in she goes the ball broken down picked up there by Granger Granger coming forward now for Fermanagh plays it inside good fist long ball forward picked up there by Megan Murphy Megan Murphy waits for the support to come and the support comes from Ashley Keenan Keenan for the right to the far side an opportunity now for Fermanagh the full back is up there Orla Murphy Murphy back in again to Keenan but Keenan has been dispossessed Derry have turned it over and with it is Kira Scullion Way over on the far side. Coming up the far side is Orla McGill, the senior county star. McGill with acres of space, using every bit of it. Still going forward. There's a wonderful ball in. Maybe a goal chance here for the full forward going through. Orla O'Kane, which is three players around her. Gets the effort away. It's half blocked down, right for 45. But again, Orla McGill. Vision is unbelievable. Spotted Clona Moore in the first half for, the, for their second goal. And almost, almost played in Orla O'Kane there for that one with another pinpoint pass. We're coming up to the water break, but the referee may let this 45 go first. Joyce Moore, McCafferty, tuned in. Caitlin McCafferty from Steelstown. So this 45 for Derry, who lead by four, coming up to the second water break. It's a well hit 45, it must be said too. Dropping in there, loose ball is picked up. It might be a chance, it? but it's picked up by the Fermanagh of defence. And Farrah Mc McCluskey comes out of it. Farrah McCluskey plays it off now to Derbla Duffy. Derbla Duffy holds off the challenge, gets the ball away over to the far side. And the whole possession with Kettling Granger. Granger inside. And a bit of space here now for the local girl, the Inniskillen girl, Ola Murphy. Good ball up along the wing. Into the corner forward Aaron Tierney. Tierney been pulled back. Referee says play on. Tierney does exactly that. Tierney tries to dance away through the Derry defence. Holds off the challenge. Kate Higgins tries to get a, a challenge in. What a wonderful tackle there from Annie Kilpatrick. But the referee says it's a free in. Looked like a good tackle. But the referee right on the spot. So you can't argue with her. And this could be the last action before the water break. And a chance for Aaron Tierney to put a very important and a much needed score on the board for Fermanagh she has 2-3 to her name already both goals coming from the penalty spot so Tierney from the Inniskillen Gales splits the post with a well taken free three points between the sides will that be the water break Three ten to three seven in favour of Derry. Ball broken down by Fermanagh. The referee still letting play go on. Megan Murphy trying to cut her way through. Good hand in there. Battling back was the defender, but the referee is on out for a wide. It looked like a forty-five. It looked like the last touch come off Cassie Lockwin. The umpire, the referee, I think, believes it should be a forty-five. Going in to chat to the umpire. So decision, we wait to see. It's gone wide. Must have come off the Fermanagh girl last. The boos ring around Bristol Park from the home support. The management aren't too happy either. They're talking to the lines people. And they kick out. The referee maybe not going to have a water break because it's all coming from the sky at the moment. There's plenty of water falling. As Derry try to work the way to defence through the centre half back and team captain Kate Gribben. Gribben breaks away from the challenge over to the far side 
Coming deep again is Kate Higgins, the midfielder. Higgins putting on the afterburner, is going up along the far wing. Holds off the challenge, has to turn back, turns away again from the, the defence, holds possession, plays a good ball in then to Cassie Lochran. Lochran has possession for Derry. Lochran coming solo and forward, fists a simple ball, and Derry trying to play one twos to open up the defence. They're doing exactly that at the moment. The effort comes in there though from McNally out to the wrong side and wide of the target. Referee looks at her watch, I'm sure she's going to call the water break now, and she does exactly that. So we're at the second water break, 3-10 to Derry, 3-7 to Fermanagh all to play for going in we saw what the first water break done in the game how much it turned it Julie Quinn tuning in cheering on Derry and cheering on Anna McDade all the way from Anne Portmore and Jamie McManus White cheering on from Anna and what a contest we have between two sides and I see Chloe Hamilton getting a lot of hugs there. What a start to the second half she had between the post for Fermanagh with three wonderful saves. The tempo gear. Fermanagh management getting their words to the team in a little huddle while Derry do the exact same. What a final quarter of action we have in store here in Brewster Park. The rain comes down but both these teams are not letting it bother them. 3-10 to 3-7. A reminder of how it went so far. If you missed it, Fermanagh got off to a rip-roaring start. They led by 2-5 two, to 2 points after the first water break. But by the interval, Derry had battled their way back to level at a 2-5 apiece. Then Derry took control at the start of the second half to open up a six-point advantage. Fermanagh has half that again. He did. Aaron Tierney has netted two goals, both from the penalty spot for Fermanagh. The start of the second half belonged to Orla McGill, who was brilliant at the start of the second half. But now it's all about this final quarter. Fermanagh are back. Derry make their way out from the huddle. 3 10 to 3 7. Play will resume with a kick out from Chloe Hamilton as the players make their way back into their positions. Fasten your seatbelts. We're in for a turbulent finish to this one. And the ball's out around the centre. It's picked up by the midfielder, Cleena Martin. She's been immense since when Fermanagh were backs to the wall. But she's been dispossessed there. Picked up there by Cassie Lochran. Coming more into the contest as the listen gear. Plays it out looking for Kate Higgins. Higgins gets the ball away, but the referee says the hands were down. And I don't think Kate can disagree with that decision. As the hands were down. Karen Harkins tuned in. So too is Kevin Mackey McAleer. Cheering on the Oak Leaf County. Who lead by three points at the moment. But here come from Anna trying to get themselves back into it through the team captain Keenan. Keenan plays it out to this wing here now. Granger with a chance. Inside there is an opportunity for Evan Jones. Jones gets an effort away but to Aoife McCabe. McCabe's effort is blocked down by the Derry defence who clear up the loose ball again. Good defending back there from Rachel Keenan. And from Anna and Derry and a little bit of handbag stuff going in there right in front of the lines person. Aaron Tierney and the number two. Megan McGill and the referee may have words here hands were raised so it'll be interesting to see what the linesman has seen so we'll just have to wait to see what the linesman has seen here really out of contact of the game because there hasn't been anything bad in the game so far so he has noted and Aaron Tierney has been called over and it's a red card for Tierney and it's a red card for Megan McGill really out of context of this game but the hands were raised and I don't think they can disagree the both have been sent off right in front of the linesman so both teams down to 14 players not a bad challenge in the end but in the game until that little moment as Fermanagh make another change, they have introduced number 23, Sinead Barrett. Tensions maybe just rise a little bit 
just along the sideline the cheer and the support and maybe just tensions rose a little bit but here come Derry and Kate Higgins runs away from Anna support unhappy again Kate Higgins is going to take this free plays it away over to the far side spotted through to Muir, wonderful ball to Muir, Muir gathers possession wonderful tackle from from Anna Gear. referee says a free well I thought it was a wonderful tackle from Avian Jones referee Fanella Murphy had other ideas maybe that's why she's in the middle of the field now behind the mic but here come Derry into Claude Muir, another good challenge comes in there, ball broken loose but the referee awards a free in again Claude Muir wins another free in for Derry Bridging Rutherland, Rutherford, apologies Bridging, cheering on Derry, good call, says Karen O'Kean to the referee for the sending off as Derry made a change, 28 coming in, Lucy O'Kean from Coleraine, Coleraine, own row and Coleraine is in to the side, there's Lucy O'Kean. Free end to Derry. This to put four points between the sides. Orla O'Kane. Still five points. All of them coming in the first half. Hasn't scored in the second half yet. Will she make that? Another one. She watches and watches. And the umpire goes for the flag. Orla O'Kane splits the post. Four points between the sides. Derry lead by four. Remember both teams down to 14 players. Three against one there. Derry win it. They had three bodies against the one from Fermanagh. But Fermanagh girl is battling to try and win it back. But picked up in the corner there by the number 10 again, Cassie Lochran. She's been superb in the second half, I thought. But she's given possession away as I say that. Commentators course. As Fermanagh try to break up the field here now through Sinead Barrett from Belcou. Barrett only on the field. Tackles come in. Referees whistle sounds. Free to Fermanagh. The Fermanagh support agree to that one. As for Mana come looking to get back into this contest. And it's going to be a free in here. Megan Murphy is found. Megan Murphy. There's a for Mana player free. She has spotted her. It's the full forward. Shauna Cassidy. Cassidy taking on the Derry defence. Cassidy's still going. Challenge comes in for Kate Higgins. Wins it back. Referee's whistle sounds. We'll have to wait to see what she's doing here. Is she giving a free in? The referee out. She's the book out. She's talking to Shanna Cassidy. Must be going to be a free out. Is she going to send her? To wait to see. So it's a free out today. A stern warning for Cassidy. Had the book out, but just obviously must have noted her. So Kate Higgins will take this free. As the challenge comes in, Pat and we wait. As Orla McGill has a bit of space here. McGill going up alongside her. It's Claude Moore. She wants her, but McGill still going. She's got a body inside. There may be a goal chance here. Back to McGill. Goal for Orla McGill. Her second of the game. They opened up the from on the defence. She played the one two. And McGill gets into that position. She'll make sure she rifles the ball to the net, giving Hamilton no chance. Is that the score that's going to decide this wonderful Ulster Minor final? 4 11 to 3 7. Go right off. Oh, that's a high challenge. The referee may take action here on Megan Murphy. Possibly the book will be coming out. Or is it just another warning? But it was a high one along, around the neck. Pat McGovern was wondering where he could find a real book. Unfortunately, Pat, I think a rule book depends on maybe a lot of referees because sometimes they don't go by the rule books from the games that we have seen. But is that goal from Orla McGill going to decide this one? Jackie Murray's impressed by it. Lisa McCann says, well done, Derek, on that goal. And a fab goal, says Karen O'Kean. To the referee. Waiting to see if the Derry Gear is okay. She's getting back on her feet. 
see Teresa McKenna in there. I say Teresa's ball of nerves. <laughs> in the closing stages of this one. Again, thanks to SVS Productions bringing you this exciting encounter live from Brewster Park on this wet evening here in Enniskill. And the referee just looking for a number, is she? And she is now calling over Megan Murphy. But again, thanks to Terence, Ryan, Natalie in production and Kirsty on camera bringing you the pictures here. And the referee making sure that the team captain, Kate Gribben, is OK and shows the yellow card then to Megan Murphy. But I don't think Megan Murphy can have too much qualms. The blues ring around, but it was a high challenge. And I don't think they can disagree with the decision. Maybe when they look back at it and they'll see the high challenge around the neck, which was dangerous. Stolen a few yards there has Kate Higgins. She plays the ball into the corner then to Orla McGill, who has come really into this contest in the second half. And Derry would have been looking a big performance from her. And the referee awards another free. A lot of stop starts in this second half, in particular in this final quarter. And it's Orla McGill that's going to take the free herself. Looks at the management to see maybe what she should do if it gives it back to her team captain, Kate Gribben. Will she be getting her hands on the cup at the end? At the moment, it's looking like she will be. As Derry lead by 4 11 to 3 7. The effort coming in there, and that looks a fine score. And it's a wonderful point there for Derry. And it comes through their team captain, Kate Gribben. The Bat McGuigan girl making her way up the, the field to pop that one over the bar. Aileen Cuse, Alison Cuse is tuned in. Martina McCafferty, I'm sure she's delighted with how this one's going. At the moment, 4 12 to 3 7. The Oak Leaf County lead. Are they going to add the silver Ulster title to the bronze under 16 title that they won on Saturday in Listeners against the same opposition for Mana? The kick out coming from Chloe Hamilton. Way over to the far side. Picked up there by the substitute, Sinead Barrett. Barrett gets this position. Cutting in field. The challenge comes in from Derry Gear. But Barrett holds on, but she's still going across the field, not making much headway at the moment, but she plays a good ball out to this thing here. It's been a race for possession. That's a battle for possession, and the challenge goes in. Both of them going for the ball, but the footing went from the Fermanagh girl, just as they went in, and the referee's whistle sounds as Shanna Cassidy is fouled. And the referee going over. Slippy conditions. It was... Both girls battling for possession. Not happy with the Fermanagh manager who has been sent to the stand. Frustration setting in at the moment and there's going to be another change on the Fermanagh side. Coming in is Tara McAloon who didn't start the Derek Gunley gear but she's into the side now. And going off is the cornerback Kate Murphy from Kinali. But at the moment, Kathleen Granger looks in a lot of trouble as she lost her footing there and has been forced off, unfortunately, for Fermanagh because she did make a big impact when she was introduced to the Fermanagh side. So Fermanagh will have to make another change. As they get that one ready, Shanna Cassidy takes the free. They need a score, but Kate Higgins, or sorry, Annie Kilpatrick is back there, clearing up the danger for Fermanagh. As they try to work their way out, but here's Aoife McCabe. McCabe, was she caught late? Referee says yes, she was. And it's a free end of Fermanagh. It should be where the ball landed, but the referee's putting it back to where she took it. Plays it over here now to Ashley Keenan, the team captain. Can she drive Fermanagh back into this contest? Gives it off now to Ashley McCabe. And Aoife McCabe, apologies. Aoife McCabe is fouled. Free end of Fermanagh, but the trail by eight points at the moment, 4 12 to 3 7. And we're in whatever time Fanula Murphy, the match official, is going to add on. Shanna Cassidy with the free. Fermanagh making another change. That change is Neve Lamb is in. The Ardrum Seagirt coming in for the injured Granger. As Shanna Cassidy dropping it in under the crossbar, but back there is the Fermanagh Derry defence and Kate Higgins. It's a battle for possession. Out now to the substitute. He gets the effort away. It's still not cleared. Has it took a deflection? Is it out for a 45? No, it's out wide. I thought it may have took a deflection. The umpire 
is sure that it went wide. The referee is going in to double check, and it is a wide. Maybe checking the time, how long injury time we're going to have at the end of this game. We've already played three minutes, but that includes the water break, and there's been a lot of stoppages as well. Fermanagh keep battling for possession. The winner number three. Plays it over to the far side. A wonderful free it is. But the referee says that's it. It's all over. And Derry are also the minor champions to go along with them. their 16th title they won on Saturday in Lincoln. They've liked their trips to Fermanagh, it must be said. And they've done the double over the Ironsiders. They've won it on a final score of four goals and 12 points to 3-7. Derry, after a dreadful start that saw Fermanagh on a lead by 2-5 to 2 points after the first water break. They came storming back. They were level at half time. They got a rip-roaring start to the second half to move 6 points clear. They held off the Fermanagh challenge with Orla Begu netting an all-important fourth goal for them to finish the Fermanagh fight back. But it's Derry that have made it on the 16 and minor Ulster champion double over Fermanagh in the space of 4 or 5 days. Saturday they beat them in Lister Ski in the under-16 final. Tonight at a wet Brewster Park they have beaten them in the Silver Minor Championship Final on a final score of Day 412 for Mana 37. Thanks wherever you are in the world. Tune in our way. And I'm sure if you're from Derry, you will enjoy every moment of it. Unfortunately, if you're from Fermanagh, you will be disappointed, especially after the start. But Derry made that wonderful comeback in the end to grab the title from the home side and the final score again 4-12 to 3-7 thanks again to SBS Productions Terence, Ryan, Natalie and Kirsty on camera myself on commentary is Alan Gunn well done to Derry we'll wait now for the presentation to the team captain Kate Gribben
I'm joined here now by the Fermanagh team captain, Ashleen. Thank you very much for coming up to talk to us. I know it's not easy after a game like that, but you can hold your head high. What a game of football. I know, great. I know it was tough. Things didn't go our way in the end, but I'm proud of all the girls. You know, it's been a short season and we did the best, and, you know, that's, that's all we can ask. Absolutely dream start up to the water break, 2-5 to two points. We've seen it before where water breaks can turn a game and it turned this one. Definitely, you know, that first 15 minutes was a true reflection of how we can play, how we know we play. I know I think probably switched off towards the end of the game. But no, that first 15 minutes was the way we probably would have hoped to play for the rest of the game, but sure, you didn't probably, go away in the end. You probably knew at the water break that Derry would come back at you. So that if yeah, it we knew. Team, you know, Derry, I've led them, they're a great team. Um, we knew they are never going to give it to us easy, you know, we, they knew they were going to come back and they did, so fair play to Derry is that. But you can take a lot of positives from the season, I know it's a short season, games is crammed in, but you can take a lot of positives and move forward from this, it's good for Fermanagh. Mm -hmm, definitely, look, that's such a great talent there, we'll stick together and work on it in the next few years and build on it, you know what I mean? Well that's what we want to see, thank you very much Ashley, thank for you. coming up, I know it's not easy when you're on the losing side, if you just want to hand the mic thank over you. to the Derry team captain. A Kate Gribben from Bally McGuigan. Kate, congratulations. Hello. Thanks very much. I suppose it'll take a little while to think in, but oh, you're all star champions. I know, it's so hard to believe, especially when it's such a short season for us and we never really expected. We knew we could do it, but we never expected to be in this position. I said to your counterpart, the Fermanagh captain, first quarter belonged to them, 2-5 yeah. to 2 points down. Yeah. What did Paul Simpson and the team manage to say to you at the water break? Because whatever he said, he's come out, different team. Yeah, definitely. No, you know what it was? We just hadn't got started at all in the first 15 minutes. And we all knew that we could do so much better. And that's what we did. We just got the encouragement that we needed. And we pushed on. Thankfully, we got over it at the end. You level at half time, I suppose. You were absolutely delighted at half time, given how it had went in the first quarter. Yeah, no, definitely. But, um, we knew we just, all we needed to do was push on. And. Um, Especially being half time, being at half time, we knew we needed to empty the tank in the second half, in the last 15 minutes especially, and just thankfully we did. You just got off then to a great start in the second half, but credit for Mana, they never lay down the yeah. packages. They never let it down at all, especially, and obviously you probably can see the conditions yeah. out there. Um, it wasn't nice to play them, but um, for Mana especially, they gave it to us, and we obviously knew they were going to put it up to us, but no, they were a very good side as well. To watch it, it was a cracking game of football, I suppose when you're involved in it, you don't realise it, but yeah, it was yeah. a game of football. Yeah, no, I'm glad it was good to watch. <laughs> <laughs> How much is it to be part of this group of girls? Because just by watching them, you seem like a whole family and just so united. Yeah, no, it's unreal, because I know this season's been so short, and it, we all thought at the start it was going to be hard for us to gel together as a group, but within a couple of within a couple of weeks um, even girls that weren't from the same club we all just gelled together straight away and it's big we've been playing for years now it's just so good and did you take much confidence from the under 16s winning on Saturday getting that Ulster title was that oh, a, a little incentive for you to make sure that you picked it up as well yeah no I definitely couldn't have the under 16s won and all it was definitely unreal unreal for both under 16s and minors to bring silverware back to Derry it's good for Derry because suppose when you're saying bring silverware back to Derry in ladies football, it's few and far between over the years, but there's so much hard work being put in. The county board are working hard. They've good management teams in there. Yeah. An under-16 Ulster title and a minor Ulster title now, mm -hmm. so it's good for Derry football. Yeah, I couldn't ask for much more. Unreal. Well, go enjoy the celebrations, yeah, Kate. Perfect. Thank you very much Thank for joining so us. Thank you.